What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is chest day, I'm here with the brother. We're gonna go and uh, bike to the gym. I'll see you guys in there. Okay, we just got done warming up. Now we're just, our first workout is gonna be bench. Yeah, I'll just walk you through our whole entire workout. Also, shout out to ASRB for the whole fit. I got the shirt, the shorts, even the socks. Hold on. There you go. Okay, first warm up set. We usually do 135 for about 20. Machine press right here. <laughs> but not gonna lie, I'm kinda pissed that I can't get more reps on 275 like how I used to because I'm getting lighter for the ADCC trials that's coming up next month. Okay, so for the upcoming sets, the reps are gonna be looking like, or for each set, 20. 15, three sets of 10, and then back up to 15. On to the next workout, we just got done doing all those sets. Pretty tiring. Now we're moving on to some uh, cable fly. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna do these uh, four sets of 15. I switched up my plan a little bit from a workout split I released because I wanted to get better endurance for lifting instead of focusing on lots of that powerlifting or I wouldn't necessarily say powerlifting but uh, just me lifting heavyweight in general so we added more sets and reps specifically for jiu-jitsu. I actually recorded a chest day vlog last week but I kind of scratched it because I Honestly, it just felt like shit. But I will throw in some clips of the flips I did at the end of my workout. Those are pretty good, so I'll throw this in. What machine is this? Moving on to the machine incline press. It's supposed to be our flat dumbbell press, but all the flat benches are taken. Uh, OK, 
Okay, all of the flat benches are still taken, so we don't want to wait. We just move on to some inclined dumbbell press. Now we're moving on to the tricep portion of our push day. Well, not really push day, more like chest day, chest and tries. We're gonna do these. Hey. on our last workout before cardio. Tonight's cardio is gonna consist of me just jogging on the treadmill for like 15, 30 minutes. gonna warm up with a little walk and then after a couple minutes I'm gonna move on to a jog. Workout was pretty good. Um, weight's doing pretty good. I'm competing at the 66 kilogram weight class which is around 145 for the ADCC trials and uh, before I started eating a little bit cleaner I was walking around like 158, 160 feeling strong lifting uh, but right now I'm around 152 and changing up the diet been eating like tuna and rice some low carb tortillas with chicken breast some cheese kind of just putting on a pan it's pretty good so overall I stopped eating shitty like when I was bulking a little bit I was eating like double quarter pounders like every other day kind of just eating whatever I get my hands on but I feel it's been a week since I started changing up the diet. I feel pretty good. Throwing in some more cardio other than jujitsu. That's what's been going on lately. I need a haircut. Probably gonna get rid of this mullet type haircut and go back to the old low fade short hair haircut before competing. It's just annoying when I lift and it gets in my eyes, pokes my eyes. That's like the most annoying thing ever. We're going back to the workout today. Um, I'm not really focused on lifting heavy right now, even though I love lifting heavy. Throwing up the amount of reps so that I don't get as tired in my muscles during competition. It's been good, it's been good. We did a heavy, pretty heavy and 
intense back day yesterday. We usually train on Friday nights. We kind of wanted to get to the gym. We've been lacking on the weightlifting part of it. Trying to get outside more, trying to go to the park and do some calisthenics vlogs, invite some of my friends so it's not just me by myself. Yeah, I'm hoping I do pretty well at trials. It's gonna be my fourth ADCC trials. If you don't know what trials is, it's basically one of the biggest no-gi jiu-jitsu tournaments there is. The way I see it is similar to the Olympic trials to get into the Olympics, specifically for jiu-jitsu. Best dudes competing in there, super tough. It's gonna be my fourth one, but each time I feel like my performance has been getting better and better each time I go to it. So I'm hoping this one I do pretty decent. Bringing out a lot of guys from Hawaii this time. The last time we went, it was just me and my brother competing. And then we met up to, uh, with some of the friends from Colorado. But this time, we're bringing a bunch of uh, our jiu-jitsu teammates here in Hawaii. If you're a competitor in jiu-jitsu and you're, you're scared to, not scared, but kind of indecisive about competing, I'd just say do it, unless you have a financial budget where you just can't, and it's understandable. But if you're just hesitant, I'd say do it. The worst that could happen is you getting injured, but if you're worried about a loss, then you already lost not competing. I definitely think competing in jiu-jitsu is huge, especially for experience. Especially at this trial, I feel like you're just stepping on the mats with some of the hungriest guys compared to a local tournaments. I'm not shitting on local tournaments, it's still experience. Trials are guys that are a little hungrier in the sport. And winning or losing at trials, in my opinion, you learn a fuck ton. Like in my past three runs at trials, I feel like I progressed so much and it's only been, I did three of them in the past two years and the third one was last October and I feel like I get better each time. I find my more mistakes, but that's my main priority right now is being focused and staying disciplined to get a better outcome at trials. Trying not to, well I don't really drink and go party or go out as much. All I do is really work out all day and just really chase what I need to get done first. I guess certain events that are important for like friends and family, but most of the time, in my opinion, I have to get shit done first before I can start spending money on partying and stuff like that. I wanna, I feel like I'm not even close to that part yet, if you guys know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm not in my full potential yet. It's not really in my interest. My interest is finding ways to keep working out, focusing on my priorities, eating healthier, sleeping better. And I think mostly getting in the right mental space and getting stronger mentally. I'd love to know what kind of goals you guys have. Feel free to comment down below. I'm always reading all the comments. I appreciate all of you supporting the channel and just all you guys watching my recent videos and sticking with me. Still pretty new to this social media stuff. I would say I've been at it for a little bit over a year. So I'm still figuring it out, but I'm glad you guys enjoy watching the vlogs. I'm gonna keep going with it and keep growing together. Also, shout out to ASRV. If you guys didn't know, I'm an ASRV athlete. Pretty recently, I got in contact with them and I'm super grateful for them. They've been treating me real well. I'm not even trying to be biased to the product just because I'm representing them. I definitely recommend it. Like, if you're an average gym goer, ASRV is a little bit higher on the price, but it'll last you forever. Their stuff is so high quality, even for jujitsu and training for lifting, working out, running. They have like a towel holder on these shorts. But yeah, everything they have is so high quality. I definitely recommend. Uh, a bunch of my friends have been getting some products from them. So don't be shy to give them a try. Another thing that I've been asked a lot, like this whole year, and I responded was how tall I am. Right now, right now, like I'm actually gonna grow more, but <laughs> I'm standing around 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, around that area. Also, another thing is lots of people have been saying, oh, you can only do these flips because he's short, or it's easier when it's short, or when you're short. First of all, fuck you, because it's not, it took me years to learn. And plus, I've seen a bunch of tall people do what I can do too. Honestly, that's where I get my inspiration from. Hate all you want. I like doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it. 
maybe you should turn that hate into motivation and discipline and learn it yourself if you think it's a threat to you. Or I'll get some messages like, if this wouldn't work in a fight, challenge me in a fight. Yeah, no shit, I'm not training to get in a fight. I'm training, training to compete in jiu-jitsu. Those flips are just because I like doing flips. Ever since I was like a little kid, I would be flipping off my bunk bed, trying to do some WWE moves. I'm not mad. It's just kind of weird. Like, people will say anything on social media, kind of just hate for no reason. And if you're in that boat, even if you're not an influence, people are hating on you, I'd say you're just getting their attention. At first, because I was kind of new to it, I used to kind of reply back. I still do just because I'm a little troll when I'm bored, but at first I used to be like, oh, why? Why are they kind of hating on me for no reason? Then I just realized they're just all just insecure just because they can't do anything. They're sitting on their couch giving out hate comments. They have time to do that. But yeah, if you're receiving hate influencer or not, whatever you are, even if you don't have social media and you're receiving hate, my way of dealing with it is just saying like, just kind of just erasing it. Like whatever they say, if it's not beneficial, it means literally nothing. It doesn't help me grow. How can you get mad at that? It's just useless input. Anyways, going back to competing. If you're a beginner at competing or if you're new to competing, I'm not the best competitor, but I can say my experiences from it, especially mentally. I know a lot of people that freak out before competing and they shit the bed. Whatever sport you're in and you're competing, whether you're fighting, playing soccer, football, your basketball game, like whatever it is, something that helped me a lot over the years. I'd always get nervous. I played soccer, soccer, wrestled in high school, and the nerves do get to you. And the nerves can freak you out, make you doubt yourself and shit. Something that helped me was just going on the field, going on the mats, just saying fuck everyone, fuck everyone around me. Well, besides the people like your team and your coaches or whatever, who you're going against, and just really realize what you're doing. Like, like what I'm trying to say is like in my head when I compete and I slap hands with my opponent, I'm like, I train harder than you. There's nothing you can do against me. Now, if you're second guessing yourself, maybe you didn't put in as much work. But most of the time, if you knew you work hard and you're still getting nervous or you're still doubting yourself, try to rethink. Warm up your mind days before the competition, days before a match, whatever it is. Think to yourself, you outwork everyone because you're better. You're going against other humans just like you. And they're not gonna be much better than you after the game, before the game, or before the match, or after the match. That's my input today. I think I'm getting too far in. I got a little bit zoned in talking about all that stuff. Yeah, probably tonight. I'm gonna eat some tuna and rice, maybe a little bit of cereal, just to get more carbs in, maybe a protein shake. I'm gonna go ahead, put the camera away, start running. I think I've been walking for about like 25 minutes. I'll probably run for 10 or 15 more minutes. Call it a night. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's chest and tricep day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.